Hi, this is a variation of the 510 Atty hat that was posted on All About E-Cigarettes forum by Dan Bean. Um, with this variation, um, I've taken a piece of 100 gauge stainless steel mesh, um, just roughly cut out a piece. It's going to get trimmed down later, so um, I just wanted to make sure I had enough. Now for this variation, um, I'm actually going to make a wick out of this, um, rather than trying to um, fold a cone. Now, to start with, I'm just going to crease a little bit um, until, so just two small fold overs here, um, so I can start a bit of a Not qu not quite folding it, but you know, so I can roll it. Now, I don't want to roll it tight. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't have to be particularly neat uh, or tightly woven, but wound. But can you see there? I'm just turn over the edge. Now, what I'll do is here. I put it down on the flat surface. Turn a bit more. And once, there's, once it's turned a couple of times, I should be able to just start rolling it uh, across. It's almost like, um, well, I was going to say rolling a cigarette, but it's nothing like rolling a cigarette. Um, but just applying a little bit of pressure, not too much, because I don't want this to be a stick. Okay. You can see what's happening here. I'm, I'm getting a a wire mesh roll or tube or whatever you want to call it. Right. So there we are. As you can see, and you can see from the end there. I'm not sure, if this is focusing too well. I don't have a macro mode on the camera. Um, it's not tightly wound and it's a bit of a sausage shape now, now I've done that I'm just going to take my atty take the cap off now I don't actually use these um, I don't do the trimming down or anything I just use a standard drip tip but the effect that I'm aiming to achieve is to basically fill in the gaps of the atty itself now to do that what I'm actually going to do now, now I might have rolled this a little too thick it takes a little bit of patience and perseverance to get it right if it's too loose there's no problem just rolling it a bit, a bit tighter and of course if you're not too sure you know you might have wound too much and unravel it a little bit and cut a bit off you see and that's probably around two or three mil diameter. Um, I do have this little, it's going to be a little hard to see, but there's a small ruler on the side of this, and that's actually, that's three mil diameter. Now, what I'm going to actually do is basically making almost a coil. It's a little difficult at this thickness to do that. But you see what I'm doing there? Like a hook and a bit of a coil. Now this is far longer than I will actually use. But it will enable me to you see, by, by doing this, I'm leaving, there's a gap that naturally forms in the middle. And it's basically a coil, I'm, I'm coiling it. You don't want to fold it, you don't want to force it either. It's just teasing it round, like so. If you look inside the atty, you can get a 
gauge how much you're actually going to use. I'm not going to need much more than that, so I've probably got a couple of coils worth there. So if I cut it at about this point here, there's the mesh, and I'll coil around this last little bit here, like so. I mean, this is a fair old chunk of wick. Now, like that, so it's basically a mini, mini coil. And what I'm going to do here is, I don't find this with all lattes, but sometimes if you look down at the bridge, the bridge will be leaning to more, more towards one side. So wherever the larger gap is, if the gap's equidistant, then it doesn't matter. I'm going to basically put this coil in so that the end goes down into there so it's the closest it can be to the element itself. Um, I have one of these, I find this invaluable. Um, Ferris is, I carry this around with me all the time. A pair of tweezers. So that I can. Uh, Just push this in and I'm going to just insert this wick into here, like so. There's quite a lot there. And just a matter of teasing it down. Don't worry if you've got too much sticking up like I have here because you can always trim it off as well. So I've got this bit here, so I'm going to cut that off. Out, but not a problem. A little harder to cut with it being uh, wound at, at that point. So I'll try this again. But what I'm aiming to do is enlarge the. It's basically it's almost like enlarging the bridge. right down in there. You can see that. Now there's enough gap in there to allow for the airflow to continue. So what I'll do to start with I'll prime this with some juice. I'm just going to use three, four drops. I'll do five. And that will prime it. And because there's a greater density of uh, um, mesh in there, that should actually hold quite a bit more juice. We just need to prime it to start with. Make sure it still fires. Everything's working nicely there. Drip tip on. And uh, let's vape away. This is uh, just with four, ju four drops to prime it. That's running at 8.4 watts. Probably need some more juice in there, so I'll just add some more juice. Five drops in there. Give it a second. I'm going to try this. It'll actually take a lot more juice than that. So I'll add a few more drops until I start getting a consistent vape. But it will also take, because it's a brand new mesh, it'll take a little while to break in. Um, but with a 
brand new atomizer, shouldn't take any longer than, than normal. I'll add a few more drops and we'll see what we get. No, still not getting any flooding, there's no nothing dripping out the bottom. And there you get it. Um, it's a minor modification to the 510 Atty hat. Um, and it works a treat. Bye for now.